Hello everyone, let's look at the different troubleshooting steps that you can use to fix the missing option to enroll your computer into the Extended Security Updates Program or the ESU program to extend support for Windows 10. As you probably already know, the support of Windows 10 will come to an end on October 14, 2025, and some users still can find the option to enroll their devices into the program to continue getting security updates. So these steps should help you resolve that issue. However, it's important to know that you can enroll at any time, even after October 14. So initially, there is no rush to enroll. Also, before proceeding, it is worth noting that Microsoft has previously stated that the enrollment option is rolling out gradually and it will take time to arrive on all compatible computers. However, it is expected to appear by October 14, 2025. Now, let's talk about the requirements for the ESU program because that will dictate if you're going to see the option. So first, your computer must be running Windows 10 Home, Professional, Pro Education, or the Workstation variant. Also, the computer must be running Windows 10 version 22H2 with the latest updates. Also, you need an administrator account that is connected to a Microsoft account. Okay, first, if you want to check the edition of Windows that you have installed on your computer, you can do this from the settings app. And to do that, just open start and look for settings and then go to system and then go to about and then scroll down and confirm the edition of Windows that you have, which in this case is Windows 10 Home. From here, you can also check the version. And as you can see, I'm running version 22H2. Now, if you want to check the specification for the account, you can do this from the accounts section. And then on your info, you're going to see right here under the username. In this case, the account is administrator. If on your computer does not say administrator, you need to contact the person that is an administrator in order to either ask the person to complete the process to enroll the computer or to either change the settings to make the account administrator or to create a different account with the required privileges. Now, if you are using a local account, on this page, you can also link that account with a Microsoft account. And right now, this account is actually connected to a Microsoft account. But if it wasn't, you will see this option and that will read sign in with a Microsoft account instead. And then you will click that option and continue with the on screen directions to link your account. Now, if you want to make sure that you have the latest updates installed on the computer, then from the settings app, go to update and security, then go to Windows update and make sure to click the check for updates button and let the computer download all the available updates. You might also want to check this option right here to make sure that you have the latest update as soon as they're available, which might also help you to see the enroll now option. Now, if after following all the basic troubleshooting steps, the option to enroll your computer to the extended security updates program is still not showing up on the Windows update page, then there is one more thing that we can do. And for that, we're going to need to use command prompt to edit the registry. So since you will be editing the registry, it is important to know that if you do this in the wrong way, this can cause issues on your computer. So it is important to create a backup before proceeding. You have been warned. Okay, first open a start and look for the terminal. If you don't have it, just run command prompt and you need to run it as an administrator. I'm just going to clear the screen. And the first command that we're going to run is this one to set the connected user experience and telemetry service to start automatically on Windows 10 and then press enter. Then we want to make sure that this specific service is started. So type this command and press enter. As you can see, it fell because it's already running on the computer. Now, to edit the registry, first we need to run this command. And don't worry, check the link in the description that I have a full tutorial with all the commands that you need to run that you can copy and paste to use on your computer. And then press enter. And now we're going to restart the computer. And now we're going to open command prompt one more time. and open it as an administrator. Then I'm just going to clear the screen. And then you need to run this command that will also edit the registry and it's going to enable the extended security updates program enrollment option inside of the Windows update settings. Once you executed the command, make sure to restart the computer. 
And that's it. Now you should be able to go to the start menu and then open the settings app. And then when you go to update and security, Windows update, you should now be able to see the enroll option to continue getting updates even after October 14, 2025. Now, if you want to proceed with enrollment, just click the enroll now button and then click next. And since I already enroll another computer into the program, the experience is not going to show me the different options. However, depending on where you're located, you're going to have the option to either use the Windows backup tool to backup your files to the cloud in order to get the service for free. You can also redeem Microsoft Rewards Point. You actually need a thousand points in order to enroll the device, or you can do the one-time purchase to complete the process. Now, if you're located in Europe, then things are going to be a little bit different because you will be able to enroll your computer without having to upload your files to the cloud using the Windows Backup tool. And you won't have the option to use the rewards point. The only thing that you need is just to sign in with your Microsoft account and without having to sync any data to Microsoft, you should be able to enroll for free. Now, if you have a local account and you don't want to use a Microsoft account, then if you're in Europe, you can use the one-time purchase and that will let you have the extended security updates with a local account. And that's it, that is how you troubleshoot and fix the missing option to enroll your computer into the Windows 10 Extended Security Updates program. Remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.